Welcome to Exhibitor Lounge, sponsored by ExhibitEdge.com. Now, I'm your host and your trade show mixologist, Michael Gray. Here, each week, you receive simple, practical, and proven tips to improve your trade show marketing strategy and get better results while maximizing your budget. Okay, today we're going to talk about the display port and the mini display port and what is involved to connecting to an HDMI input on a monitor. Now actually this is a very simple connection. Now first we should go over what exactly is a display port connection. Okay, basically the display port is the newest digital connection to fill a void where DVI and HDMI used to be the only two digital players. DVI will probably fade away soon as the group that created it no longer exists to upgrade the technology. Now, HDMI is not an open platform as it is a royalty-based product from a company called Silicon Image. So with the shortcomings of both DVI and HDMI, another standard was born. And that standard is the DisplayPort. New laptops and tablets are providing the DisplayPort or mini DisplayPort connection. <laughs> now I have to make a confession since in an earlier video in this series I mentioned that the mini DisplayPort connection was exclusive to Mac users. Well yesterday one of our account managers, Stephanie, showed me a Microsoft Surface Pro notebook that had the mini DisplayPort connection. So I stand corrected. All right, so now whether you own a Mac or a PC, you can run into the problem of needing to convert a DisplayPort or a mini DisplayPort output to an HDMI monitor input. All right, now get used to it. The old world of analog video meaning, well, for the most part, VGA, well, it's going away. HDMI and DisplayPort will coexist side by side and require a good understanding how to connect to each other as newer laptops and tablets may only support one or the other. Now, the scenario we are discussing here is if you have a device with a DisplayPort or mini DisplayPort output and need to connect it to an HDMI monitor input. So the question is, can I just get a passive adapter or cable? Or do I need to convert the signal since the DisplayPort uses a packet transfer system called LVDS and HDMI uses the TMSD system? Well, the answer is yes and no. For the record, the DisplayPort signal is not compatible with HDMI. All right, if the DisplayPort output is a dual mode DisplayPort, then it has the ability to recognize and adjust the signal to HDMI when a passive adapter cable is connected. Now, I mentioned this in an earlier video and said that I got lucky I bought a passive adapter cable, and it worked. Hey, sometimes it will, and sometimes it won't. If the DisplayPort graphics card is only a single mode DisplayPort, then you must use an active adapter or converter. So how can I be sure if my DisplayPort is a single mode or a dual mode port? Basically, a dual-mode DisplayPort will have a mark near the port that says DP++ or DisplayPort++. If you want to be totally safe, then just get an active adapter for around $40. Whether it's a single mode or a dual mode, the active adapter converter will work. Hey, as always, please respond with your questions or comments 
and let others know about ExhibitorLounge.com. Hey, we'll see you next week. Until then, I'm your host, Michael Gray, telling you to relax in the Exhibitor Lounge. Thank you.